What's going on guys? Ben Glean here coming back at you with another video today back on Dolphins franchise. Another matchup in the division with the Jets. This one is in week 14 at MetLife and then in week 15 we're also at MetLife against my favorite team, the New York Giants. Let's go ahead and upgrade some players after the big week last time. Xavier Howard, he's been somewhat quiet as the weeks have gone on, although still a good player. We're going to go into zone again. I want to give it, get him up to 90, and then we can focus on man and things like that. Uh, only plus one to zone is not great, but 88 is okay. Jerome Baker up to a 78, well, 80 with morale. And I think we're going to go in a run stopper on him. He's got good speed, good tackling. I user him, so zone coverage is pretty irrelevant most of the time. I'd love block shedding to go up, so I think tackle is going to be what we need. So run stopper, let's get it going. Give me like a plus three block shed. How cool would that be? Plus one? We get plus one speed? Plus one hit power? Oh, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have given me plus one speed. Now to 90? Whew. We're going to be flying out here. Kalen Balaj as well. And uh, elusive back, why not? Even though he's more of a power guy. Let's see what he gets here. Plus three to looseness, plus two to juke move. I'll take that. I'll take that. Preston Williams, who's quickly becoming my favorite target on the field. It's hard not to at six foot four, with a 90 speed. Would love for his route running to continue to go up, but release getting higher I think would also be very good for him. So we might go into physical this time, and then uh, see what we can do there. So it goes back to a scheme fit. Overall is not affected, but hopefully uh, no release upgrade. But plus three catching traffic could be a whole lot worse. Goes up to an 81 now. That'll, I guess that'll meet that new threshold. And then Jordan Mills, who is horrific at right tackle. Can't do anything particularly well. He is going to get an upgrade to pass protector. Maybe give me an extra second in the pocket on occasion. Probably not, though. Our offensive line is garbage, and I've talked about it before. Look at it. 84. Larry Tunsil is great, but then Michael Dieters is 65. Daniel Kilgore is a 67. Jesse Davis is a 67. Jordan Mills is a 65. It is so bad. But we'll see what we can do today against the New York Jets. Had a close game last time. Hopefully, we beat them. 75 overall. Let's get after it. All right, Jets are in the all-black uniforms. Pretty nice. We haven't debuted any uh, alternates so far in this series. That could change some point along the line. We'll see what we can do here at MetLife. Looks so disgusting with the Jets green. I hate the Jets. Not really, but like uh, they're just inferior to the Giants. I don't really care for them. You just, uh, you're, I know what you're thinking. Oh, look, look, check the Jets and Giants record. It's like when the Jets won six games last year also. It's like I'm cool with the Giants being less good at the moment when they've been way better historically. And then the Jets aren't even good yet. We'll see. Maybe they will be. I don't. We, nobody knows yet. Ryan Fitzpatrick. That's right. He's their quarterback because uh, we traded and that's going to be user pick. Easy reads, Harry Potter, and the Goblet of Fire. Touchdown, Jerome Baker. 13th interception on the season. We are just one touchdown away from the... Or one touchdown. We probably have the record for defensive touchdowns in the season already. We are one interception away from tying the Dick's record. Night Train Lane, Dick Lane. 14 interceptions in one season. I believe his rookie year. And Jerome Baker is closing in on it quickly. I'm out of position there. And I went for a hit stick. What am I doing? Big gain by the Jets. We're already up 7-0. So, we're alright. Doesn't really matter. Make the pick, Xavier Howard. Let's go, baby. It's been a while. And this one might go all the way. Xavier Howard to the 25-20. 15, 10, oh shit. Touchdown. <laughs> they closed it pretty quick, but it's a 77 yard pick six for Xavier Howard, continuing his excellent season. Would probably lead the league in interceptions if not for Jerome Baker. 14 0 Miami. Big tackle by Christian Wilkins. I love to see him playing well now. He was kind of non-existent through the first uh, bunch of weeks. And everyone was like, you're in 3-4. I was like, I haven't been. Christian Wilkins has been on the field. Occasionally we go 3-4, but not always. Just Christian Wilkins wasn't making an impact. Now he is, which is uh, very nice. 
They're going to go underneath to the running back. But 90 speed is too much for Le'Veon Bell as Jerome Baker tracks him down with some help from his friends. New York will punt. We're already up 14-0. Let's make it 21 zip. Third and six. We have not exactly been productive on this drive, but maybe Nick O'Leary gets open. That's kind of open, just short of the uh, first down marker, unfortunately. Probably should have looked for other options, but we will punt the ball back maybe more effectively than we have been in recent weeks. My punts have been kind of off. It's just not the same old best punter on YouTube and on cue. On the one. What am I talking about? This is why you hit the subscribe button. It doesn't get better than this. I hit the pylon after it hit the sideline. It's an RPO. Get there. Eric Rowe can't make the tackle. Le'Veon Bell's broken some tackles thus far. We've just kept him in check where he hasn't had the space to do anything with these broken tackles. It is second and six, though. It's an RPO. Xavier Howard, big tackle behind the line. And then Maurice Smith tracks that one down. Le'Veon Bell has nowhere to go. The Jets are playing ultra conservative right now. And it's not working. Collage. All right. Forgot about Jamal Adams. First time we've seen him. We haven't been on offense a whole lot, though, so that makes sense. Slant over the middle. Kenny Stills. Big play. We're going to take a chance. Make this play. Preston Williams down the sideline. And he holds on. Josh Rosen dropped it in a bucket. And Preston Williams showcases the awareness to get his hands up, make the catch, foot placement, everything was perfect. Got Kalen Balaj here. Jukes back inside. There's a truck. He stiff arms one, actually. I don't know. We might have to adjust the sliders a bit. They were playing really well, but it seems like as I got better, that they were they were coming too easy. But I feel like Josh Rosen just being more accurate, which is interesting. Maybe I'm making better, quicker reads and, and throws. I'm not sure. I want Gasicki, dude. We're going to throw it away. I didn't really like anything. Everything was, like, too covered. I surveyed the entire field. I, I went through progressions, if you believe it. But uh, I just didn't really like anything. We could run the ball here on third and two. I like Kenny Stills, though, in the back of the end zone. We're going to go over the middle, though. Devontae Parker, touchdown. You can't give me that type of space. His fifth of the season, Josh Rosen. Make sure this thing goes 21 nothing. They're going to run us. Are up here on screen. Why am I not wrapping up there, bro? Come on, Brody. Third and five. And I got brushed off that for some reason. Big hit by Jerome Baker. The plus one hit power in the upgrade did not uh, lead to a forced fumble there, unfortunately. Are we not chasing this? Are we serious here? Come on now. It's Ty Montgomery. Tried to cover a bunch there. Ended up delivering a huge hit with Raekwon McMillan, but again, uh, they hold on to the football. They're not the fumbling type. It's third and four. I'd love a big stop. Pretty much iced the game, but nope, that's going to be a great throw. The Jets get on the board. Score a touchdown. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're still playing well. Just, I think it was, was that Xavier and Howard? Somebody got torched immediately on that uh, post route. Not great. Rosen, we're going one-on-one -on -one for Devontae Parker. Nearly holds on. I was getting ready to get hyped. But we're six for nine. 69 yards and touchdown. So nice. Brings up second and ten. Let's run the ball here. Let's give Kalen Balaj a touch. Not working. Oh, Balaj drops the ball. I mean, I was waiting and waiting and waiting trying to figure out where to go with the football. Balaj was the most open guy, 
And uh, go figure, drops the ball. Ball's loose, recovered by Andrew Van Ginkle. Big hit stick. Even my punts create turnovers, that's how good I am. Can Rosen fit that in for Gasicki? He can, but it's off the hands of Mike Gasicki. What's up with the catching? By our receivers this game. They're dropping the football. Rosen wide open. Kenny Stills can't get an end in the end zone after that. That's crazy. I know the ball placement wasn't ideal. But uh holy. It's gotta be a TD. Might get one here though. Slant. Pretty good. <laughs> Alan Hearns drops the ball. We're gonna run away from Jamal Adams on this one. Good blocks. Kalen Balage touchdown. It's gonna be 28-7 Dolphins. It's a big completion of Robbie Anderson. However, the Jets call their final timeout. What does this mean? Are they gonna? I imagine they're going to try and stretch the field. Take a shot at the end zone. It's going to be outside. Bobby McCain, keep him in bounds. Big tackle by Jerome Baker. That's going to be the end of the half. And uh, we stop the Jets scoring threat here. Fitzpatrick again, only two incompletions. And they're both interceptions. We return. This is a domination at this point. And we're flipping the switch. Big time from the first couple episodes of this series. Oh no. Almost a pick. Gesicki. Make a play. Drops it on third and four. Not a uh, not a great series there. But we do get to punt. This one might be right on the money. Hit it, Hawk. Give me some wind assistance. I missed my spot. I missed my spot, man. If I had it, if I hit the X correctly, that's on the one. The screen. I'm all over it. No. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be a big gain as well. I went for the pick. I should have wrapped up. I allowed the first down. That one's on me. I got greedy. It's a screen. They like those, but uh, I'm reading it every time. Just a matter of if I play it correctly. New York will punt. We're up 28-7. I mean, this one... This one got over early. They're all over the draw there on second and five. Guess we'll have to throw. Kalen Balaj has been pretty good today. Are you really picking fights with Leonard Williams? I don't know what that was. I was scared for Kalen right there, let me tell you. There we, Mike Gesicki just sat right down, found the open spot in the coverage. That's what happens when you play zone. I mean, you leave yourself open to stuff like that. Balage, good blocks. Run blocking might have to get toned down a little bit. Uh, kind of dominating a little bit too much. Inside, Gasicki could have rack caught that one, but uh, decided to just take the possession, take the first. You know what I'm not seeing, by the way, is uh, Preston Williams. Alan Hearns in the game there. What happened to him? Well, you know what it is? It's because uh, I'm calling plays where he's still in the slot. I forgot to change him in the depth chart with Jakeem Grant still injured. Balage. I mean, he's just running wide open through holes. Untouched. Offensive line's performing way too well. I'm going to be honest with you. That's It's time for a slider change. Third and four. Let's find the end zone. I wanted Gesicki at first. We're going to roll out. We got time, but I don't have any open options. So we're going to throw it away, take the field goal, take the points. 31 to 7 Miami. Okay. 
I screwed up, and it doesn't matter because Fitz missed his man. Yeah, this one's in the books. Kalen Bellage, man. I mean, it's just too easy. It's too easy right now. Play action. We got some open options, kind of. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw to Gasicki. Make a play. Whatever. Third and five. Bellage is gonna get it. Can't get past C.J. Mosley. Take another field goal. It's gonna be 34 to seven in favor of the Finns. Oh, is it? All right. Yep. <laughs> Hit it. Oh, great play by Bot. No, that's Eric Rose, 21. Okay. Ah, that's unfortunate. Oh, the ball's loose. All right. <laughs> Jets to recover with Quincy Inunua, but what a weird sequence. Third and three. That's me. Ah! Screwing up here in the fourth. That's, uh, that's just a super annoying sequence altogether, but, uh, Jets get on the board, it's 34 to 14, and that's probably gonna be your final. They're gonna onside kick it? Are you serious? Don't matter. Third and seven, Balazs gets it back, and that is the game. He goes over 100 with that rush as well. So, another big win here. I'm going to adjust the sliders. It's just uh, it's just a little bit too easy right now, especially when the user has been as good as it has been, uh, even though Josh Rosen wasn't exceptional today. Is this the first game I've had no interceptions? It might have been. <laughs> uh, rushing Kalen Balaj was great. That's got to change a little bit, unfortunately. Receiving, I mean, we didn't really complete that many passes. We really didn't. Raekwon McMillan had a ton of tackles. Jerome Baker with 11, though. Just if you were solo. Charles Harris, tackle for loss. Eric Rose, Xavier Howard. No sacks today. Two picks, Jerome Baker and Xavier Howard. Both came at the very start of the game. Forced fumbles for Minka and TJ McDonald, although none were recovered. Two defensive touchdowns, Jerome Baker and Xavier Howard. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.